Man, is it getting hot out here. I don't know how the animals take it. Maybe we can help them out. Maybe so. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance, I wanna welcome you to our channel. So today we're gonna to talk about trying to keep our, our, our goats and our chickens a little cool during this hot part of the season. Here in Oklahoma, it has been super duper hot. It's been over, heat index is over 100, and even some into like the 110s and, and even teens here in the last week. Hopefully this next week's not gonna be as warm, but it's still hot, it's still humid, and not only do we suffer, but our animal suffers too. So hopefully we're gonna be able to show you guys a little bit of what we do. So one of the things we're gonna try this year to try to keep our chickens and our goats a little bit cool is using one of these little kiddie pools, as you can see right over here. Uh, this is something that we had when we first got chickens, none of them used it, uh, but it was inside of their little run. So we're gonna put it outside where they're free range and maybe they'll jump in there, maybe the goats will jump in there. They don't like water, so I think it's just gonna be for chickens, but you never know. So as I was saying, this is just one of those little cheap little kiddie pools we got at probably Dollar General couple years ago it's just been in storage but we're gonna to try to clean it out and uh, get it all nice and clean for the goats and chicken and then we'll put it out there and see what's going on with it. So we got the little swimming pool filled up. We'll see if the, uh, if the chickens like it. We'll put a camera on here for a while and kind of let you see if the chickens like it or not. We'll see. But a couple other things that you can do to kind of keep your chickens cool. Number one is make sure they have fresh water. I know our water, I came out here and it was super duper hot. So I dumped it all out, put some fresh in. A couple other things for chickens, they like to take dust baths. So we don't really have like a dust bath, like containering that kind of stuff, but our ground is so sandy here. They've just made a couple of them themselves. So let me show you one real quick. So this is one of the little areas that the chickens get into and they just roll around and get that dust all over them. And that helps to cool them off. So a couple of the other things we like to do to keep our chickens cool and refreshed in this hot summer heat is if we have any leftover like cantaloupe or watermelon or any of those kind of melon kind of stuff, the goats and chickens really do like it. So I'm gonna put a little bit in there, a little bit in there. We'll take this down to the boys here in a little bit. We have some fresh cantaloupe from last night and some zucchini scrappings that we had from when we were making zucchini bread. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card for it right up here. It's part of our 31 day vlogathon. And you can see these guys are interested in this. Way interested in this. So we'll put just a, these are gonna be for the inside guys. They don't need a whole bunch. So yeah, so we just keep this, I think this is watermelon from last year. It's like an orange one. And this stuff thaws really, really quick out in the sun. 
around the heat. So we'll put this down for him, and it's a nice, cool treat for him. As you guys can see, all of them came over here and it's starting to peck away at it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, there'll be a link right down here. Check it out. Subscribe to us, ring that bell, all that fun stuff. Give us a big thumbs up, leave us some comments. We answer every single comment as soon as we can. So leave us some and we'll answer you back. Come on. See what daddy brought you, come on. Come on, big boys. Yeah. Want some fresh cantaloupe? Look, look right here. Oh, here's some good stuff. You just want my shirt? Want my shirt? No, you don't want any of that? Well, we'll see if they eat it. The other ones do, so. Oh, well, the boys don't seem very interested in theirs. It could be because I'm standing here. You can see him, he's right here by me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he walked away. There you go. Hey, buddies. So, they don't seem too excited about it, but we will see what happens. But just a couple other things that you can do to keep your chickens cold, so, or cooler, or your goats cooler. Um, of course, like I was saying, fresh water. Um, make sure they have shade. As you can see in our milk goat pen, we have a like a little awning shade thing that we put up because there's not much shade there. Once we get the, uh, the, the milk goat pen area moved around and resorted, we're gonna build on some structure to where it's permanent shade and they should have shade all day long, depending, no, no matter where the sun is. Right now, until this time of day, it's almost direct sun on them. So we put that up to at least give them a little bit of shade during the day. Uh, a couple things we've done for the chickens in the past, I don't have any to show you right now, but we've taken ice cube trays and filled them up with um, canned corn, or you can use fresh corn if you cut it off either way, and put water in it, froze those, and put that in the water. You can put ice cubes in the water. We've also seen where um, we've done like uh, half gallon milk jugs. We filled them full of water, froze them, put them outside where the chickens or goats are. Some lay against them. You know, we kind of had mixed um, results with that. A lot of them just get sturdy and nasty and the chickens don't like it. But I've seen some people that they, their, their chickens really do like that. Uh, I've seen where people has put um, like a sprayer system, like a mist sprayer system in their area that would probably work really good if you weren't in an area that had high humidity like we have high humidity in our area so probably not the best um, place for us or the best opportunity for us to use that device just because it's already hot and humid it may help a little bit but probably not all that much well folks thanks for coming back watching our video we really do appreciate it hey if you haven't caught us on instagram or facebook there'll be some links down in the description down below Check us out. We give you little daily updates or weekly updates on what's happening around here on the homestead. You may even see a little bit ahead of time before the videos come out. So check us out.